So I'm on the floor of the shower, tied up, with water pouring on me in my clothes. This is my first day of high school. Dyke, faggot. Sissy fag, all that stuff. A guy got really mad and decided to beat me unconscious. It was my first day of school, and about four or five, third and fourth graders got me in the corner and beat the bejesus out of me. I was what was wrong with America, and I was going to hell, and God hates me. And let me tell you, through the eyes of a five-year-old, you're not really quite sure what the hell's going on. You're not quite sure what those names are that they're saying about you, but somehow you know those names aren't good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm gay. Definitely use the word dyke, definitely use the word lesbo, homo, you know, all of those words. They were calling him names. They were just making fun of just, I think, what he wore, what he did, how he acted, how he wrote, to the point where he just actually got up one day and refused to go to school. Yeah, high school was horrible. Was shoved in lockers, dunked in trash cans, had my head dunked in toilets. I had a teacher read a letter to a girl that I was seeing out loud to a classroom. And it was getting a little, it was getting a little rough for me. I mean, I'd go home and cry. I don't know how I'm going to get past this. I don't know how I'm going to, to live like this. Between the age of 13 and 23, I've contemplated suicide. I didn't want to be gay. I didn't want to be gay, and I knew that there was nothing that I could do to change it. But where you live in a community that makes you so afraid of being yourself that you actually try to crush it. That's real. That's bullying. And it's wrong. You should never let what anybody else thinks about you affect how you feel about yourself. I just woke up one day and said, this is it. It's like, I know I'm not going to change. I know I'm not going to be like everybody else. Uh, and I have to be who I am. I think about when I when I used to wake up in the morning and go, oh my god, I can't believe I'm gay. Uh, like, feel this sense of doom. And now, it's part of my identity and something that I am really proud of. I don't have to fix this. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just who I am. I'm happy to be who I am just the way I am. If I've learned anything over the last 15 years with being out is that the more I accepted who I was, the more other people around me accepted who I was. To me, if you didn't like it, if it offended you, that was your issue. It wasn't mine. The life that you want for yourself is possible. It's odd to think that to feel safe, you have to leave where you grew up. But then you start to realize uh, you deserve to be happy. And the power that the people had over you earlier it goes away. The world is not the small school you're at, and the world is not the small town you're in. It's so much bigger, and it's so much more accepting. You will find your career path, you will find love, you will find, um, you will find a heartbreak, just like everyone else. <laughs> you are absolutely going to get to a better place. You're absolutely going to get to a better place as you feel more comfortable with who you are and you see the possibilities and you know that there are people out there who care and there are a lot of people who care. You just have to keep yourself open to it. So don't feel like you're alone in the world because there's people who do love you and care about you and want to help you. Because the reality is you're not alone. There are millions of stories like mine, like yours. And the only way we get through it is when we kind of unite around it to help support each other through it. And if you can just hold on and stick it out, it does, it does get better. Just don't give up on yourself. It really does get better. Your life is worth it. Your life is, is just waiting for you. You're gonna find people that are gonna treat you with so much respect. You're gonna find somebody special in your life. I mean, a lot of somebody's, they're gonna love you for who you are. I never would have thought that now I would be fine with who I am. I never thought I'd be comfortable with who I was. It gets better because the thing that you used to be ashamed about is now the thing that your friends value most about you. He's my son. He's who he is. He's, he's my son. It gets better because you get to fall in love. Next year, my partner Alan and I will be celebrating 25 years together. I have a partner that we've been together for 11 years. I just never imagined that my life could be this good. Such a good mom. <laughs> This isn't him, this is this is Maggie. It does get better. Honestly, it will get better. And it gets better because we all stick together. It keeps getting better.
You just have to think beyond where you are now. I know it's so hard when you're so caught up in all of the turmoil, but you just have to think, I'm gonna be out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. What gets better is you get better. You find your voice, you find your confidence, you find your courage, you find your conviction, and you get to a point that your voice is so strong that you can't silence it anymore. Once you find that strength, like, it gets so much better. It gets better. It gets a whole lot better, I promise. It gets better. It gets so much better. It not only gets better, um, there are many, many people out there who are doing what they can to make it better. I'm Phil, and this is my partner, Jack, and we just want to tell you that it gets better. It absolutely gets better. You can make it through it. <laughs>